Police are investigating a pretty elaborate scam. Yeah, this comes after a man claims he was tricked out of nearly half a million dollars. Our Alicia Bergio joins us live in studio with more details. Good morning, Alicia. Jordan, Chris, good morning to you both. An unfortunate situation for this 81-year-old man from Troy. Police tell us in October of last year, the man invested roughly half a million dollars in what he thought was a legitimate gold exchange with a woman he met online who claimed to be a real gold dealer. For four months, the man invested money through her. When he asked about taking out some of his earnings, he received a letter saying he had to pay a tax penalty first. That's when a family member told him it was, in fact, a scam. We spoke with an officer with the Troy Police Department on red flags, usually should look out for to avoid becoming the victim of a possible scam. Potentially with emails, if they're reaching out via email, it might look for like it's from a legitimate company that you may have heard of, but there could be a spelling error in the you know, email address or something could look off. Um, and it would probably be hard to catch unless you really look at it. Most importantly, probably, you know, if you're going to make some kind of investment like that, you're going to probably want to run it by somebody else first. Uh, you know, maybe a younger family member or somebody that you can, you know, rely on to take a look at it for you. All good tips there. As a reminder, you can always look up a business on the Better Business Bureau's website to see if it's actually legitimate. As far as the scam this 81-year-old man was involved in, police say they are still investigating. Jordan Chris. All right, Alicia, thanks for keeping us up to date on that. Appreciate it.